Out of all 50 states, Georgia now has the highest number of COVID cases per capita, the worst in the nation. This is according to the White House Coronavirus Task Force. But tonight, Governor Brian Kemp is pushing back hard, Aisha. Ron, he insists that's not the whole story and that there are other numbers showing Georgia's worst ranking will improve quickly. John Cherrick has been digging into the facts for us tonight. He is live to break it all down. By all measures, Georgia's latest corona coronavirus surge peaked last month, and now numbers are improving, trending down. But the governor says other states are improving faster, leaving Georgia for now at the back of the pack. A snapshot of COVID cases in Georgia is only that because numbers change so rapidly. But the latest snapshot of Georgia from the White House Coronavirus Task Force is not a pretty picture. Cases per 100,000 people last week in Georgia, 216, nearly double the U.S. average. Deaths in Georgia per capita last week also double the national average. Governor Brian Kemp says that per capita snapshot is not the complete picture. To scare people with one number, is not fair to the general public. That is not the only number that Georgians need to look at. Governor Kemp said other important numbers are improving in Georgia since the peak last month. New cases, hospitalizations, percent of tests that are positive, all down in Georgia. But the White House Task Force says Georgia's small gains are fragile and statewide progress will require continual, expanded, and stronger mitigation efforts, including in all open schools. The epidemic in Georgia remains widespread across the state. And right now, Georgia is at the bottom. Georgia Tech Biological Sciences Professor Joshua Weitz helped develop an online map to show how at risk we are based on all the daily numbers. Say you're going to an event where there will be 50 people. According to the data in the map, you can see what the chances are that at least one person in the group will have COVID, possibly infecting others. And the chances are sky high, more than an 80% chance in Fulton, DeKalb, and Cobb, even worse in many rural counties, like Jefferson County near Augusta. A 99% chance that at least one person in the group will be infected. Professor White sees this as a tool for self-defense. To inform people about the risk so that they can take preventative measures like wearing a mask or deciding to maybe not go to that indoor event or eat outdoors if they're going to go to a restaurant. The White House Coronavirus Task Force and Governor Kemp continue to urge people to wear masks around others and comply with all of the state's safety guidelines to get ahead of this virus instead of behind it.